time. That, John time. What do you do? John time. Okay. Now, see this. This is Yuna. This picture taken from the jungling demo too. This is picture of Yuna with in circle. Now, um, oh, excuse me, hold on. I need to talk to you there. Because it's not supposed to say. Unless you give me a reason you're absent. Then you're absent. Are you here? Not here. Okay. Uh, no, well, I'll just keep you right here. Okay. All right, so I've got three. Actually, I've got. When they say I've got three pictures, the truth is there's only one picture. Lah, huh? You know HTML, right? In HTML, in HTML, this is simply IMG, IMG, right? Please no HTML, no, no, I mean, you don't, if at this time, if at this time you still do not know this, okay, if at this time you still do not know how to read this, you're in trouble, you know, like seriously in trouble, you know, we fly, you know, everybody flying, you know, you're still crawling on the ground, you know? yeah, body, close body, HTML, I, I am just a single tag, close by itself, single tag, attribute, attribute, tag, attribute, value, so I'm using I'm using one picture, one picture by repeat three times. Therefore, you see three pictures of you now. Okay. In Dreamweaver, you see square. The original picture of you now is a, is square, but here is circle. Why? Because I created a I created a tag selector, and now by this time you must know what's a tag selector. If you do not know what's a tag selector, must catch up. Okay, be like John, sir. Catch hold, catch hold me, sir. We're gonna use you guys. Okay, yeah. But this time you must know what's a tag selector. In my global style CSS, I've got a tag selector border radius. This is a tag selector because it will affect all the IMG in my document. Therefore, all the page, all the pictures in my document looks like this border radius. Okay. Now, I will say, sir, Edwin. Eh? Ask me this, right? Edwin ask. Edwin say this. But sir, I have, you got three pictures here, right? The IMG tag will hit all these three. Man. What if I only want one to be circled? The rest I do not want. You know what I mean? What do I? What if I just want one? Then the key is you don't you you don't create a tag selector. You create a class. The class of in this case rounded. The name, ah. Uh, What's the difference between this and what's the difference between the first and the second selector? This is from last week, right? Okay. What's the difference from last week? Ah, uh, these are called selectors. Curly brackets are called selectors. There are four kinds of selectors: tag, class, ID, and compound. All right. The first one is a tag selector. The tag selector will hit all the tags, so all the IMG will have the property of border radius. You can add other things if you like. Okay. The second one is a class called rounded. The name, uh, it can be any name. Understand not? It can be dot Edwin. Okay. Class of Edwin, with a property of border radius. Rounded because you make things rounded. That's why I call it rounded. It's a name. Understand? Don't do hang up about the name. Okay. The name must make sense. The name cannot be a tag name. So it cannot be dot. H1 dot body, right? It must be something that's not an HTML name. So when I switch this by changing IMG to dot rounded over here in my CSS, okay, observe. I, I do a save, right? When I refresh, when I refresh, right, it reverts back. You can see that all the pictures now reverts back. Now, if I want to send, if I want to center one. To be rounded, right? 
click on the picture, in the properties toolbar, you will see the class, the word class here. You can select the class, rounded. Okay, it won't show up. It won't show up on the Dreamweaver, but it will show up when you browse. Can you see this? You understand? This is the difference between using a tag selector. A tag selector will make everything the same, look the same, look uniform. There are times when you want to do that. For example, the body text. I want all my body text to be 16 area. What do you do? You do P. All the P gets this. Or body. The whole document gets this. Body. Right? If you just want certain elements to be influenced separately. So instead of all the IMG to be rounded, you say I create a class around it. Then you apply, apply the class around it to that picture that you want. In terms of coding, and this one you must know, okay? You want to do this kind of cool stuff, yeah? Yi Ling says, you want to do this kind of atas stuff? Yeah, atas, right? Yeah? You look at atas stuff, you must know how to recode, you know. I, as I demonstrated uh, during the Jonathan's time, uh, uh, Jonathan's class, uh, the class of Jonathan, Jonathan's class, right? I was demonstrating some of them. Uh, when you insert stuff in Dreamweaver, especially the spry menu, right? You delete the spry menu, you notice that some of the code still hanging inside there. And this may cause problems later. So you insert delete, you must go to the code and clean out the code. Alright? So, look here please everyone. What's the difference between this? See where my hand is pointing? My hand is. What's the difference between this tag and this tag? This tag and this tag. The difference is, this last tag here, Applied the class of rounded. You see that? Tag attribute value. So this tag has an additional attribute of class with the value of rounded. Alright? So this picture here will have this property. Look here, please. This property. Okay? Yeah? You must read this. You must read this. Oh? Huh? Yeah? Uh, so this class, the rest do not have. So the rest will be square. This one is rounded. You understand? Know Okay, any questions on this? Okay, yeah. Oh, Mr. Wu is coming in. Oh no, oh dear. Oh, behave. Be on the best behavior. Oh no, I'm on record some more. Don't erase this part here, okay? Yeah, I never say.